In this video, we will go through RPM or Rational Power Management. We will describe the feature and also its views in CAFE. So first, how to get to the Rational Power Management views. You can either find it through the button on the guide page or through the menu. So first you will see one view where you have one line per frame and you will see a summary of its RPM configuration and different numbers for, for the configuration. First, we need to describe that Lake devices have two ways of configuring a RPM. Either it can be in an automatic mode or a custom mode. The automatic mode means that the power allocation is solely defined by the ISVPL threshold numbers. This could be very handy if you have Lake module files where the power allocation between different channels is already defined within the ISVPL threshold. In custom mode you can do full manual configuration of RPM and perfectly tune the power allocation based on the requirements of the speakers and the capabilities of the amplifier. For Tessera devices you have RPM in two modes. Either it's on, which is the same as custom for lake, which is the full manual configuration of RPM, or you can place it in off mode, which will mean that the total available power in the frame is shared equally among the channels. To do a manual configuration of RPM, you will enter the per frame view by hitting this expanding button. And this will give you a view where it's one line per channel, and then there's a frame summary at the bottom. First section here, which is basically the inputs for the speaker requirements, and then the right side is the output from RPM. And this input section is already pre filled if you have used the offline design flow in ESP. But this first column is the expected load, so here you in enter the nominal impedance of the speaker. And these two columns is the desired power input, and that can be done in multiple ways. You can enter voltages or burst power or AS power rating, or you can also copy the power requirement through the ISVPL threshold. But let's stick to burst power, and then this field will depend on which setting you have here and lets you enter the, the speaker requirements. And then you can enter the usage, that's pretty much the crest factor. And then to the right we have all the outputs. This first column, desired outputs, summarizes the requirements you made over here and splits it up into both voltage, current and power. And this will give you the per channel headroom and this is the headroom for the frame. And this will give you the resulting RPM. So this is the output from the RPM algorithm which will tell you what the frame can do with these requirements. And to the furthest right you also have an average analysis. So desired average that's based on the crest factors and their power requirements and then what the frame can do. And then at the bottom we have a summary for the frame. So both desired output, headrooms and uh, resulting RPM and average is given over here. And you can also per frame enter the, the mains voltage in your system and it will give you a very accurate prediction of the thermal requirements and the mains requirements based on the exact model, the exact requirements and the exact loads of this frame. Now let's play around a little bit with RPM and see what we can do with it. So already at this level we have varying power requirements. We have some big channels and some small channels. And with these resulting RPMs in place, RPM will safeguard that any channel can draw more power than it has been configured for and thus making sure that the other channels have the power available that they have been configured for. And if we try to overbook a single channel, let's put this to 6000 watts for instance, that's 200 and almost 220 volts and a single channel can only do 194. So RPM will make sure that this single channel will be brought into compliance to the maximum capabilities of that channel. If we instead not overbook a single channel, but overbook the, the frame as a whole, here we're trying to pull 9,000 watts out of a D80 that can do 8,000 watts. So we have half a dB too much, and then the RPM will apply a shared reduction of the channel. So if this was a all channels in a single box in a single line array, for instance, you would like the all the channels to be limited equally. 